And now let's move on to the frame. So for the frame, uh, let's break it down into parts. So the first part's gonna be this little back card. And that's fairly simple. All they did was just get a rectangle with stripes on it. And then um, next we have this front card, which is just a pink with a little block exit. Everything over here seems fairly easy, right? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and replicate this. So let's go over here and let's turn down the radius. Wait, this might be fine. Uh, let's try and go a little bit smaller. Let's go 15. I think that's a reasonable. Let's mess around here for a bit until we get something that we're satisfied with. And if you guys didn't notice already, uh, radius pretty much controls how um, rounded the UI is. Alright, seems like 10 is the perfect one. Color overlay. Let's go over here. Let's go towards the outskirts of the... Alright, so... Um, and get a rectangle and let's mimic theirs and the reason I just don't insert a texture is uh, the texture I have is a lot more um, the bars in general just are a lot more thicker than what these guys are using for their GUIs Might be doing a little, a little bit too much. Um, really, all we have to do is just let me get the thickness of this. Alright, so now we're just gonna come over here, merge shapes, get over here, color overlay, get our color, then we're gonna rasterize layer style. And now what we have here is our GUI, background at least. Um, now uh, let's go ahead and make these little slits that are over here so uh pretty much what they did over here is very simple they just came over here how many are there So this should ideally be exactly what they're doing. It might not look the same because we do have some differences on our own, but this looks pretty good. Yeah, I like it. Next, it's just the same exact thing. So for that, uh, what I'll do is I'll come back once. Come over here. Still eat that. Okay. But now we still have these. Come up here.
we might as well just take these parts out. Let's bring this on over here to the other triangle and see in what size it compares. Alright, so this should be placed right after this strike. See how that looks all together. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And now what we're gonna actually do is uh, let's move on to the bigger frame. And essentially, we just come down to a rounded rectangle again. And we want to reshape what we've done so far and then get the exact look right here. So for this, um, let's go step by step. Um, let's just first go ahead and trace what they have over here, which is going to be this little shape. And since we've already created this little vector over here, we're just going to take that from there. Um, let's go ahead and hop over here. Make a copy of this. Oops, not a copy of that. Copy of this. Paste it use our tool to take this out and then it looks like they just plopped a color overlay on there this along with the text that says shop and for the text we'll just go back to using um, infra our shop frame basis is done and now what we're gonna do is just get some placeholders for these we can make this green none of this stuff really is hard guys all that is all it is is you just need to be able to have like the ability just to get basic comprehensionist shapes, I guess, because, like, if we look in depth to, like, really any UI, there really isn't much that's hard. The only thing that could be hard for you guys are UIs that use tons of shading or highlights, and in that case, that might prove a little challenge, but I don't think it would be anything too crazy. Alright, and let's just go ahead and add that same exact drop shadow. That drop shadow isn't actually as noticeable either. Okay, so next, uh, what we're gonna do is go for one of these. And since we still have to fit that scroll bar, ours might be a little bit off when it comes to dimension-wise, but the design, basic design, is going to be exactly the same. And for the drop shadow, copy 
copy their style, paste their style, drop or er, oops, color overlay. Let's come here, just copy what they have, and then let's move this up right here, and then can. Okay. We don't even need to rasterize this. Next, uh, what we're gonna do is come up with the scroll bar, and then we have these two buttons, and then we twist this frame around a bit, and everything should be good to go. Alright, for the scroll button, it should be the easiest part. And then we just come back in here. Alrighty. So what we have here is the basic outline and now all we do is just add some designs and whatnot onto it 